I made this high quality picture frame, but I need a method to clamp it together. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple clamping system for stuff like this. Okay, I'd like to give you an idea of what I'm making, just so you're not completely in the dark. I want to make four blocks of wood just like this, identical to it. You can see this piece of all thread goes the whole way through. And the coupler nut on the end will be the tightening mechanism. You can see as I twist it, it tightens a little bit. Originally I intended to use wing nuts here so it would be easier to turn, but the wing nuts tended to hit the surface that the entire clamp was sitting on. Now this hole here will accept this piece of 3 8 steel tubing which I drilled out and tapped. And then this piece of all thread will twist into it until it stops. I'm going to start by cutting four even lengths of all thread. I'm using quarter inch 20. I cut all four of my pieces to 16 inches. It doesn't really matter what size you're making them, it just depends on what size frames you want to make. Now I want to fix the ends where I cut. Fixing the ends of all thread is a three step process. Step one is to use the grinder to flatten the burr off. Step two is to put a gentle chamfer all the way around with the grinder. And step three is softening it with the wire wheel. I'll just test it by putting on a nut. It should go right on. The woodworking for this project is relatively simple. I just have to cut four 3 inch by 3 inch blocks. After making an inch and a half by inch and a half notch on my blocks, I found the center here which should just be three quarters over and three eighths away from the edge, and I transferred the mark down to the bottom. Now I'm using a scratch awl to make a little divot on both points so that the drill bit doesn't wander. Now I drill from both sides using an 8th inch drill bit. And connect both sides together. Now I repeat the process using a bigger drill bit. And a bigger drill bit. And finally I go all the way through with a drill bit that's big enough to make it. The drill bit I used was just a 64th bigger than a quarter inch. Just enough so this can move back and forth freely. Next I want to drill this 3 8 hole all the way through to accept this little 3 8 nut that I made. The center of that hole was drilled one inch from this edge. Now I have to make this hole for the all thread to go through. I set the depth to be about a quarter inch past the bottom of the hole. I had to use a piece of all thread as a rasp to try to remove some of the material until I can get the all thread centered on the 3 8 hole. Now that my four parts are done, I'm going to give them a light sanding and then finish them with linseed oil.
Linseed oil is a drying oil. Unlike other oils, such as mineral oil, linseed oil will actually dry out. Mineral oil, if you used it in a clamp like this, when you press the clamp tight, it might actually stain the frame that you're working on. Now you can see for the first time how it all goes together. But unfortunately, I saved the hardest part for last. We have to make these little things here. Once it's cool, I can take it over to the grinder and use the wire wheel to soften it. Drilling metal is a bit of an art form. The first thing I did was peened where I wanted to drill. The first hole that I drilled was a 5 fourths hole. I used this reference line in the back so that I knew what square was. I'm going to use each one of these drill bits in sequence until I get to the size that I need. Finally, I'm going to tap it out with a quarter twenty tap. Now the name is misleading. Just because it's a quarter inch doesn't mean that you drill a quarter inch hole. You actually use a number seven bit, but I don't have one of those, so I'm going to be using a thirteen sixty fourths. Drilling metal is about finding a balance between the amount of pressure that you use and the speed that you go. I'm no professional at using a tap by any stretch, but what I do know about it is you never want to force it, and you want to back it out often, and use lots of oil, and I take every opportunity to take it out and clean the debris out of the threads. That wasn't so bad. Like I said, go slow. Don't force it, and use lots of oil. This one looks like it'll fit pretty well. I ran the tap crooked on one of them, so I may have to redo it. But let's see how this one works. Okay, I've twisted them all in until they're just nice and firm. Now it's time to try it out. Well, this will help a lot whenever I have to make a picture frame. Thanks a lot for watching.